Well, praise the Lord, Olive Branch, praise the Lord, and welcome to 2017. This is not only a new year, this year has a new theme. Last year's theme, remember, was the year of transition. 2017's theme is living the afterlife. I know, kind of confusing to some, not making a whole bunch of sense to others, but really what we're after this year is after you transition, after we transition, how now shall we live, right? After the trans transition. So what we want to uh, uh, um, examine, what we want to stress even, what we want to evaluate and assess is how do we live the afterlife in our faith, the afterlife in our family, the afterlife in our fitness, and the afterlife in our finances. So let's talk about faith. Go back to the second chapter of the book of Acts, the 3,000 who were added to the church uh, after Pentecost, the Bible says, and they continued steadfastly. So after they were believers, after they were added to the church, they did some things. They didn't stay idle. They were not stagnant, but they progressed. And so that's what we want to, to uh, check out, if you would, in 2017. Where are you in your faith? And not how now shall you live? After you've become a believer, after you've been added to the church, where are you in terms of your being connected to the church? Where are you in terms of your being engaged in the life of the church? Where are you in terms of participating in a ministry instead of being an onlooker? Those are some of the things we want to, and I believe have to, in 2017, get our arms around, not only as a church, but as individuals as well. Well, what about, what about family? You know, how now shall you live after you're engaged or after you're married or after you have children or after your children move out? All of those are very significant experiences and seasons in the life of a family. And how should you approach those? What is your strategy? Oh, do you have a strategy? Have, do you have a long view as it relates to your decisions and the, and the choices that you'll make regarding your family. Now that you have a family, in this afterlife, how now shall you live? What about your fitness? New Year's resolutions? You've made up in your mind that you're gonna eat better, better diet, you're gonna walk more, run more, you're gonna be engaged more relative to your fitness? Where are you now? You know, have you begun, have you begun? Have you started or have you stalled? So all of those types of questions relative to your fitness, again, are very significant. And we have to take an honest evaluation of where we are relative to our fitness. Have we had a checkup this year? Are we due for a checkup, right? Are we, are, are we sensitive to the needs of our fitness? I've said it before and I'll say it again, that it's hard to be a, a, a outgoing believer. It's hard to participate in outreach. It's hard to uh, 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 be a witness, right? If, if you're failing in your health, if you're having a hard time uh, being well. So brothers and sisters in Christ, please, please, please live now in your fitness so that you can live later in the future. So we talked about faith, family, and fitness. What about your finances? H have you begun contributing to your 401k? Now that you have a job, right? Now that you've been promoted, how, how, how are you doing in this afterlife? It's not enough to have a job. But relatively speaking, you need to understand that what you do now impacts what you'll be able to do in the future, not just about your faith, not just about your family and your fitness, but also in your finances, right? Do you have a budget? Right now that you have money to budget, do you have a budget? And now that you have a budget, how now shall you live? Do you follow it? Right? Do you go after it? Do you expand it? Or do you shrink from it? Right? Do, are, are you conservative relative to your budget? Or are you liberal? Right? Are you flexible in your budget? All of these questions are so very, very important for you to be, for you to have a strong financial status. It's going to be very, very important. Who knows what will happen over the next few years or several years, right? Are you putting some things back? Do you have a, a checking account or a savings account? How, how are you contributing to the church? How are you sowing into the kingdom? 
what, what is your participation in the capital campaign? All of these are questions. Yes, questions, but they need to be answered. So we give God thanks and praise for challenging us this year. Following a year of transition, we thank him for putting and positioning this new theme in front of us. Not that we should ignore it or overlook it, but rather that, that we should take time to consider how now shall we live. 2017 is going to be an incredible year, a wonderful year. Yes, an amazing year in your life. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Believe, belong, become. God bless you.